Three best travel tips are bring a girl, your girlfriend, wife. Use a jet lag to your advantage to get up early and go to bed early and don't shit. My best three travel tips. Have a board bag you can possibly sleep in if you have to. Don't eat crappy food. Window window seat, so you can lean against the window and you can like stretch out. If you're my size, it's like a big bed. Right, if you're size like, <laughs> size like Jordy, you can't even sit on the plane. You gotta get exit roll. <laughs> I bring my biggest charm when I'm at the desk. Hi, how are you? How's it going? I like your nails. It makes the check-in process really good. Make friends with the locals. Try the local food. Kangaroo down at Bells Beach, it's pretty good. <laughs> kind of understand where you go, you know, understand the culture, understand the whatever it is, if it's a religion or if it's a, if it's a, like a localism or something like that. I think it's important to, to know because uh, you might get surprised sometimes you get to places and uh, you see some weird things happening and maybe the things you're doing in your country can not be appreciated where, where you go. So you kind of learn about the culture, where you go, and then I think if you learn right, you'd have a really good time. Drink a lot of water. Sometimes you can't wake up if you take a uh, sleeping pill, so don't take it. You know that um, neck pillow, so make sure you always have one. Not just for the plane, for the car, for everything. It's always good to have it so you wake up without neck pain. All right, travel tips. I would say definitely invest in Bose headphones. They make flying in coach like you're flying in first class, and they're great for being around the event. It helps you to zone out and just get rid of all the distractions. Also, pack your own snacks for the airplane because airplane food is super salty and you get really bloated. So almonds and cranberries, nuts, those kind of things are always good. You have to brush your teeth every day. Travel light and uh, that little thing right there. Make sure you eat right on the road. I travel with a guitar so that I keep myself occupied on the road. That and some good books too. Uh, Kindle. <laughs> but yeah, actual books. Well, Kelly Slater told me once in Tahiti, he said I'll give you one piece of advice. Fly first class. I'm also 6'2 and I don't fit in the little seats. Main travel tip is when you leave the house, little decoys. There's a human there, it's just pillows. There's a TV on, someone's here, so don't break in. Number two travel tip. Wear an Aloha shirt when you check in. Because if you check in with a lot of oversized baggage, there's simple things that can help you. A nice smile and a good Aloha shirt. Wouldn't you say? One more tip for traveling, don't travel jet blue. <laughs> <laughs>